everyone, it's Michelle with Country Morning Creations and I'm here today with a DIY of how to make your own sticky notes. Um, can't call them post notes because that's a trademark name. So these are sticky notes. And what I'm using today is this printout. This is a printable that is part of my newest printable kit in my Etsy shop. I'll show that to you real quick. What it is, um, I, well, I guess actually I'll start with this. If you've seen this, if you want to see this, there's a, I'll, pu I'll post a link to this. But this is my teacher planner. I don't use a planner for much of anything else, but I definitely use planners. And this one I customized. We're only a four day a week school, so I customized the size and my different classes, things like that. And I'd had someone mention that they would love to have a copy of that kit. So I have gone through and made a new and improved kit. It includes a bunch of things like you could use this as end paper. You could cut these out and make stickers. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could use that. These could be um, also end papers or uh, cover pieces, things like that. I even have some just plain script. These are, that's, um, oh, I want that back. This goes with over, oh no wait, <laughs> never mind, I've already shown you that piece. I have some just pretty lined paper that you can use. Then I have a variety of different things. So for example, uh, you could do just a bunch of pages like this. And what's really cool is when you stack these up and then sew them as signatures, this and this will be, uh, um, this will be the right and this will be the left. It totally works. Uh, you want just notes. Maybe you just want to create a journal that has notes. This is one where you have more space. So this is the whole week across. This is a month at a glance. This, so you have Monday to, and you have five weeks, so you would be able to put your own numbers in here. Uh, here's one where it's a week on a page also. And then this is another piece that you could use as end papers or part of your cover, which is actually what I've done here. See this, I cut these in half and this was the cover for this that I've grunged up and things like that. So anyway, that is my latest digital kit. You can head over to my Etsy shop if you are interested, but this is what I am using. So I've cut them apart and th they are about all the same size. If they aren't, it's because I'm not perfect at cutting. Um, then you will also need, and this is the important part, you need this scotch double-sided tape that is the removable. They also make double-sided tape that is permanent. You want the removable. This works like the sticky backing uh, for your sticky notes. What I'm going to do, I'll just show you one real quickly, is that we're going to take one and flip it over and what I'm, this is the, the removable part is removable on both sides. So because we're making a pad, I want to glue down one side of this, uh, this tape so it sticks. It's, you know, it's pretty wide. So I want to make sure I get everything. So I found two stripes of glue were important. And then you wanna just pull off enough tape to go the whole width of the top. And I try to get it pretty close to the top. Now I do have some overhang. I'm going to cut that off. And we want to also make sure that we kind of squish this down a little bit. That way the tape sticks. Now we're gonna set that aside to dry. And once those have dried, I would give it, especially because I'm using three-in-one glue, it takes about five minutes to dry. I would go ahead, you know, you, basically by the time you get done making a bunch of these, they'll all, they'll, the first ones you've done will be dry. I grabbed a piece of cardboard and cut it out. It is also the same size as these sticky notes. 
So we're just going to simply start stacking them up on the cardboard. To the best of our ability, we're going to get them lined up. That may be easier said than done. I'm not sure. We'll see how this goes. And we just keep stacking them upward into a pile. Now I have printed this simply on 28 uh, pound printer paper. So it's all flat. You could of course print this on a whole variety of different papers and any of them would work. So as you can see, I'm starting to develop a pad now of sticky notes. I'm going to grab my planner. This is my one from last year. So let's just say I wanted to add a sticky note in here. I'll simply take my pad, tear off a piece, and stick it right into my notebook. And I can move it around again if I want. So there you have it, DIY sticky notes using, remember the Scotch double-sided removable. You need to make sure you get the removable tape. I got this at Walmart. It's pretty inexpensive. And you get 200 inches. That's a lot five and a half, little over five and a half yards. Um, so I highly recommend this. And I use this also for a variety of other things. Great, great kind of tape. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed peeking at my new digital kit. And I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.